particular and a Jakiro in particular to deal with. I really like the choice of the Abaddon here. I think you nailed it when you talked about defensive supports. The interesting thing to me still going to be a very strong hero up against the Bristleback. Can't necessarily zone him out of experience range, but he can make sure he doesn't get a good amount of free farm. Now we have Yol currently sitting with the oh. Invis on the left side. They're going to be going for Jonam first. Poppy, meanwhile, is going to be able to leap himself up the cliff. Jonam gets off the Aphonic Shield. They need one more hit. We'll be able to take him down. Arrow onto Yol as well. Kuro moves on. He's going to have a clap up in just a second. Gets off the sleep. Big Daddy gets himself away from the Bristleback just in time with a good Tetral lead. And VP have to play a little bit cautiously now, which is not the situation that they want to be in. Yeah, now that they run an aggro Trigon, it's going to be left exposed once again as the tri lane comes into the middle lane. And Team Play. Secret will be able to pick off another kill. Three kills up already within four minutes, and two of them on that important uh, death profit. Top here, but and Kuro's going to go for the kill onto Yol. He's going to be diving in pretty deep here, and he's going to be left exposed. Zidoi trying to block him out, but he doesn't have enough mana. So without the quills, he just simply does not have the damage to punish Kuro. And if he's not careful, he may <laughs> die as well. Kuro's going to be able to get off another slow follow-up with an open wound, and Big Daddy is helping him out. Kuro gets a double kill real quickly. But they're still going to go for it again. S4 has another stun to throw on. Onto God. The Aphonic Shield comes out. Protects God for the time being. Already being blowed. Miss Coil. Not up. He needs five more mana. And S4 will still be able to claim that extra last hit. He has another Storm Hammer up if he wants to continue to go for it. Big Daddy goes up the cliff and goes right back to S4. Ice Path. Not quite catching Big Daddy. And there's going to be no extra damage found there. And top lane. Oh my god. Kuro diving in so deep past the tier. Uh, we'll actually take them over to level 6, so a nice little tactical play by them as uh, Fly very much welcoming that experience. They're going to jump on the middle lane where Kuro is going to be joining Big Daddy in a hunt onto the Death Prophet, and they surely will get it. Jonam just is not going to be here in time, and a mega kill streak already for Kuro. Not to at this point. Diving in once again, Jonam gonna be slowed down by the gush and Kuro. Just three kills left and right. The slow. And oh my god, that burst damage is just way too much. And S4 just by the way hanging around up here, waiting for possibly another kill on Cedoy. This is insane. Yeah. With the arrow coming in, Storm Hammer, arrow follow-up. Uh, Puppy will be able to land that one onto Cedoy, ensures the secondary kill at this match cap and I'm asking myself like okay fine DP did make a couple of minor mistakes in the early game but what are you supposed to do yeah the he, he all is gonna be next up the next victim of the bear wicked sick BZZ runs in oh my god Goodbye. that uh, attempt at the relocate is still gonna result in BZZ's death here well actually maybe not they don't have an extra stun they just need to keep pace ice path is gonna be able to, to come in god now gonna activate that uh, on top of all that god. the bottom of the exorcist they still don't care. They're still going to go for it. Jonam is trying to protect these heroes, but he threw the Yaponic Shield on one. Kuro's going to eat the other one instead. Ice Path does not protect him. The Exorcism Dyer's just not finishing off any of these heroes. Attack. Big Daddy will finally need to right click down. Kuro is pretty far out here. The Yaponic Shield, as well as the Exorcism, doing a good amount of damage. He still has the Aegis to protect him. Jonam getting low finally. He is taken down. The raid boss is down, ladies and gentlemen. Kuro, though, is going to come right back up, try and chase down some of these heroes. They may actually catch one inside here. Jonam. Oh. Oh, Tidehunter just needs an anchor smash, and he will get it. Now he's going to be going for the dive here in this bottom lane. Yo, he doesn't have anything to protect himself. He's got no mana. He's sitting at half health. He's surely going to die here as he's just trying to juke himself around. But eventually, he is cornered and godlike already. Pre-10 minutes in, Kuro is getting a kill a minute at this rate thanks to Big Daddy top lane. We have already S4 able to get the kill on Bristleback and sh may not be going down here. Big Daddy already with the save. The bottle heals up, and S4, he's actually going to try and turn this one around a little bit. He's getting the heals in, and as soon as he comes in, Storm Hammer out on Jonam. But with are fortified. The stream tells for the turn, the and they're just going to get themselves away together. Radiant's Both getting low from the Crypt Swarm, but not there enough to get the kill. God is diving in pretty deep here. Really wants this kill. Big Daddy still gets hit by that one. S4 going to turn around. The Aphonic Shield goes out on God. The last Crypt Swarm gets a double kill there from God. As I thought it was a little questionable for him to dive that deep bottom lane. We have Cedoy going to be taken down. Be a godlike for Kuro. It doesn't I mean, Jesus. Relocate to the bottom lane. It's not over yet, buddy. Yol's going to be taken down. He goes ahead and sleeps up Kuro. Immediately woken up by Big Daddy. And Yol will be taken down. Flying gets a little low, but they're going to take a tier one tower in the process, it looks like. Big Daddy gives him just enough time to get this tier one. He's playing badly. I don't think VP is playing that badly in this match. There is just when this kind of a lineup by Dyer's Secret gets off to attack. any kind of a good start, there's just nothing that you can oh, do. Oh, fly.
Sock on Ursa. Oh, the initiation man. already on BCZ. They wipe him out. They good. Oh, well, Nightmare, not really that good. Crib Swarm doesn't do any damage to him. Puppy's actually getting very low. Gets the leap away. Now the Ravage onto four. As S4 looking for some hero to target here. He's going to go for Cedoy. The Quill's going to be able to finish off the tight Hunter. S4 quick to bounce himself out. As the Exorcism plus Cedoy's natural tankiness is too much to handle. God in the front line looking to finish off Puppy. Doesn't get that one. Nor does he finish off the Sven. And I got to ask. I don't know what else is there to say. I'm just gonna. Oh, the relocate's coming in from the side, and it's going to be the big bad bear. He's going for Jonam, already held in. Fiend's grip is excellent from Yol. He's gonna be protected a little bit by this Fiend's grip. But look at Curl. He's so damn big, he doesn't care. He's gonna move on, go straight for the Ghost Lady. No, goes back to Jonam, who's out. No longer has that ultimate. Beautiful Ice Path. The Exorcism is doing what work he can, but against all these strength heroes, they just can't kill him fast enough. S4 gets low, will be taken down. And Kuro is actually getting a little bit low here, but he's chasing down God. And I can't body block him up. They're trying to kind of as much as possible, the slow goes out, and they finally kill him. Raid boss down once again, 1300 gold streak. And we've got God with the Ghost Scepter as well as a lot of movement speed as well, which is so important versus the Ursa. Kuro is going to be uh, seen here by Cedo. Cedo has to be careful. They're immediately going to try and target in the back. We have a good three-man Ravage. Kuro's going to be focusing on God, but he's going to be tied around quite extensively. Tidehunter has already been eliminated. Cedo is going to be gobbled up. No, he gets away. The Aphotic Shield keeps him alive. Kuro's going to fall. And now Bird is Pro on the hunt for more are going to be looking for... They, I'm not completely sure they can hold this. I don't think so either, man. They still have the Aegis up on Cedoy. Arrow lands on God, but he still has the Exorcism. Kuro's going to try and take advantage of that. The body shield already blown out. Ravage goes out. Kuro hit by the Ice Path, though. That's going to delay his damage. He's going to clean up BCC real quick. God, though, is still very healthy. They're going to try and chase away Cedoy. He does have an Aegis up, so he can afford to lose his life here. If it's in exchange for a really good fight. The Aquatic Shield, Arrow lands on him. And Team Secret will be sticking around trying to finish him off the side. Silence, good positioning there. But Virtus Pro, they've lost the exorcism. Don't really think they can continue to go for this fight. This is over an extension, I feel. But we'll see whether or not Team Seeker can turn it around. They've done up John him. Heals up a huge amount as S4 gets a lot of clean damage on him. And Curl still held in by that feature. He's going to be taken down. s is not doing enough damage. He's trying to beat into these tanky heroes, but it's not going to be enough. BCC continually healed up by John him. Puppy trying to run himself away. Gets a leap up to the side. S4 going for BCC with the Moonlight Shadow. Going up there goes the Ghost Scepter, but he still dies to the urn. Jotham doesn't have an ultimate anymore. He gets taken down by Puppy. And farther down, the relocate. Gonna catch out, yo. Fly is gonna be able to slow him down with a gush in just a second. And they'll chase him down. He has a ghost scepter to delay this bit. But it's only going to delay his inevitable death here as the rest of the team gets himself away. He tries to go for Big Daddy. And Kuro is actually still asleep. Yo! He's getting some distance here. Kuro doesn't have that pink dagger still, and he's managed to get himself away. They have a gush onto Yol. Still will be able to catch up in the end as the attempt to deny so close there from Yol. Would have been a huge play. Especially if they go try and go uphill without Yol backing them up. Radiance Bottom Tower is under attack. Tier 3 Tower Secret are backing themselves up for the time being. It's all about Fly, who's coming in from the side, gets off a Ravage on four, and now immediately goes for God. Ghost Scepter goes off, protecting God for the time being, but it's going to go away eventually, and he gets gobbled up real quickly. And now the hunt. Cedoy already getting the Aphotic Shield. Jonam relocate for it. They're going to go for BCC on the side, surrounding him inside the jungle, and take him out real quickly. Jonam will teleport himself away. Three heroes go down. And Cedor just keeps on beating down into a Kuro. Says, turn around, you want to fight? Let's fight. Let's dance, motherfucker. Cedor getting held in. Ice Path hits on two. Cedor gets hit by the arrow. But he's still so tanky. He's got his back turned around. The Quills just keep on going up and finish off the tight Hunter. Kuro is getting low, but he will be able to finish him off. The Macro Pyre not quite enough. Says four, bottling up. There goes the Magic Wand. Able to get him just an extra bit of health. And Big Daddy will keep his ally alive for another second here. Tide Hunter. Dead, Bristleback also down. The range tracks, the only pickup so far by Virtus Pro. Puppy now lands an arrow onto BCC. Kuro trying to get in position, but he only has gotten to the movement speed right now. It's another ice path. Will prevent them from being able to pursue. Back in the middle, we are trying to take down. Yo, he gets a teleport away! He barely gets out. S4 keeps on looking for more. Blink dagger forward. BCC, four staff nicely played. It's going to get them in range. And finally, they take down that tanky two-headed dragon. Where the you have to tell a story here where they're able, they're going to be able to take a big fight and win the game for VP, and I just have a hard time seeing that happening. This could be it. As far as already getting inside the fight stuff, the ice path follow up, but the Ravage comes in, and God gets taken down in just a burst of claws, fangs, and teeth as BZZ is going to be cleaned up as well, hammer to the face map saying, look, we got to go make something happen right now. They're going to force this engagement here. Yeah, 
Yeah, Kuro's already been caught out. He doesn't have any Aegis. He can easily be eliminated here so quickly. Seedoid's gonna be the first target. Fiend's Grip goes off, holding down S4. They eliminate the Ursa. And two of the physical damage dealers have already been taken out. Cheese goes off on S4, but he's getting kited around so heavily, he can't actually get any right clicks off. Big Daddy is slept up. Relocate X. And the buyback from the Ursa, well, for this second, but almost cost him his life. And that's the reason they buy back. The buybacks are worth it if you can get a cheese and an Aegis. It's like not, uh, you kind of have those second lives anyway. See, you know Ooh, playing a dangerous no. game here. Oh, my. He's got buyback. He does have a buyback. The Yol's been getting caught in the process. Sleeps himself. Delays his death for a second or two. Ghost up to also help out. But he has no mobility at his field to save him and will be taken down. They're still waiting on Bristlebank to get back to them. And they're going to have to take this fight four versus five. And they really needed that Fiend's Grip as well as the Nightmare 2. Relocate for Big Daddy loses his tether. And it's going to be rotating behind the Death Prophet. But instead, we're going to fall mid lane where Cedoy is almost taken down immediately. But is able to get himself some distance. Mech goes off. Ravage not catching anyone. Team Secret unable to find a pickoff here. They may try and force this fight. Even though it's an Aegis and a Cheese with no exorcism, they could still take this. Already the Old Scepter gone out. Puppy gets a Force Staff forward from the side of Vice. And at the same time, Yul's going to be taken out in the middle lane. They give that one pick off. Kuro in some trouble. Trying to get himself away, but it's being slowed down so heavily. Gets off the BKB. Making some distance away. The arrow comes out. Not able to find anybody there. They still get the bash onto Kuro. Oh, Kuro is, is going to be taken down. And he has no buyback. You're right. It's going to be them going all in. Meanwhile, Sven and Whisper coming in from the side. But they're already going to lose so many heroes off this. Another force staff. Leap away. Puppy gets some distance. Meanwhile, Fly comes in. Look at the cleave damage. S4 starts going to town. But he has the problem being kited. The disarm doing so much to him. BZZ going to be chased around. Cedoy starts getting away that slow. And now the rest of them are trying to back themselves up. Heal a little bit more. Cedoy. Oh, he's going to be stunned up. He's got the turnaround though. They can't quite go for the kill. Too many heals, too many disables. S4 having such a hard time laying down damage. And Virtus Bro, similar to game two. I don't know Looks they like they're going to be going straight for the throne. 55 seconds though. We have Fly. 35 seconds for a Tide Hunter Rabbit. S4 is going to go for BZZ. Finds that one pickup. Yule Scepter not in time. Cedo, I meanwhile, trying to get himself away. Gets slowed down by the Rod of Atos. Big Daddy comes in, trying to help out S4, but his back is turned. He's not doing enough damage. Disarm goes on to S4. For a living Cedoy. He's staying alive for the time being. The Crypt Swarm is going to try and help out as much as possible. They finally lose Cedoy. There goes that Aegis. S4 moves on next now to Yo. But we have the Aegis coming back up. Cedoy is ready to battle, but he can't seem to find any one target to go down on. Yo has a Fiend Scrap. He's going to find S4. They got to lock him down. Four staff forward. They're trying to get distance for S4, but he's finally going to be gone on by Cedoy. The sight that might follow up, but there goes the Ravage. Is it going to be enough to save S4? Big Daddy has to relocate in just two seconds. S4 will be able to get himself. Oh no, Gil Scepter goes down. Big Daddy's gone. As for another four staff forward, kiting around excellently, and guess who's back? It's the Ursa. Up in just one second, Virtus Pro. They've got to get themselves away. They've already claimed a tier tier three tower. There it is. S4 goes for it already. The old scepter onto the Ursa. Ursa turns around, tries to fight up Cedoy, and there goes Ravage number one. Exorcism already going up, but Ravage number two ensures that God goes down. No exorcism, buyback or no. No exorcism is going to be up for him. Cedoy Mimo trying to kite around S4, having some issues with that one will be taken down. Buyback is up for. Him. He immediately buys back. Jotam is losing his health. He will be going down. The Aquatic Shield, BCC also taken out. And this time around with the double Ravage, they have no issues being able to take down some of these heroes. Puppy going to be silenced up. Four staff four. Big Daddy relocate. Not needed to save Puppy. And Team Secret will back themselves off. They force two different buybacks there. I'm He's not doing much with this fact. He gets sight the mice up now. And they defuse. So it goes on to BCC, but it's not going to change much. Already gone. Being right clicked down by S4. They need to protect him. They need to keep him alive. He tries to teleport away, but no. He goes down. Team Secret take one, take two. Now a third one falls as BCC goes down. Yo on his way out as well. And Jotam heads straight for the throne. He knows this is all over. Virtus Pro tried to go for one last push into the throne. They won't be able to get it. Instead, it's going to be Team Secret with a relocate in with S4. And there it is. GG well played. Some of the tightest series we have ever seen. Virtus Pro game two. Barely lose that one. And in game three, right down to the clutch. We'll lose it up against Team Secret, who still triumph and stay ahead of Virtus Pro in this best of three.
just an unbelievable series, and VP had to do that. They couldn't let Sven get any more damage items up. He had enough money there at the end to complete his Daedalus anyway, and as you said, without the buybacks, they weren't going to be able to win in a sustained engagement. They just had to go for it. Boy, just so beautifully played from both sides. I cannot believe VP managed to get themselves back into that match at all, given the ridiculous start on Kuroki's Ursa, and